that's when we were with Aaron. Oh, right. You guys, welcome to Miss Lone Star. Uh, I am on land, as you can see, weathering out the storm. Uh, thank you so much to my East Coast family uh, for letting me stay, and um, welcome to Miss Lone Star. So, we weren't completely landlocked this week, and when I say we, I mean Crash and Onyx and I. We ended up spending some time on the Liberty Clipper, then we went to Gloucester and did a sale on Ginger Nut. So, um, you guys are about to see some of that. Very cool. We got to see the 32nd annual Schooner Race. I guess I'm not the only one. Hot huh, crash. We're not the only one. The foul's props. We got the prop foul, huh? And now we're free. Gonna go to the races. Going to the races, huh? Tally ho, ginger nut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, huh? And who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Are our friends on the Clippa? Are they gonna place, you think? All those motley sailors? Hey, Liberty Clipper, good luck! That's a Columbia? second place against against that boat. Look at that. This is so exciting to be here. Crash and I wish you could see the 32nd annual schooner races. But you're just gonna have to watch from home, huh? Yeah. Who you root for? Who you root for? Pretty rough day out here, thinking about getting seasick. <laughs> it's a good time though, these boats are so pretty. It's gonna come around right in front of us. Right, let's have a look ski. I 
Highway 89 Through the twisted ponderosa pines I'm drinking in the cloudless science sky Went out on the ginger net with Captain Mark and it looks like he's gonna join me for our journey south. As you know, Rob's not here right now and we're hoping he returns very soon. We love you. Um, he is dealing with some personal issues. There were a lot of really mean comments on YouTube and unfortunately I had to ban people from the channel which is terrible. It really breaks my heart. Um, I want you guys to know like we're real people and we have real problems and we don't always share them but um, it's important for you guys to know that I support Rob and I love him and we're looking to his return so right now um, you guys will just be sailing with me and I'm really excited to introduce you to Captain Mark he has been sailing for a long long time he's 73 and he's going to teach me how to solo so I'm really looking forward to that uh, he's also a diesel mechanic so um, there's going to be a lot to learn and that's going to be really exciting so when Rob gets back I will be almost a bona fide captain so stay tuned it's elbow. Head towards shore right in there someplace is a rock I mean it's a big rock it's like a haystack rock and it comes out at a minus tide only so that means when it's when it's low tide it's only less than two feet underwater In the middle of the ginger nut. Crash LaRue. Okay, so the day weekend. Oh, it looks like he's crashing. Yeah, he does. He's tired. He used to be a cowboy star that had a gun, but he did all his serious preventing of things with a whip. Wow. A, bull, a bull whip, and his name was Lash LaRue. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> so you're going to be Crash LaRue. Crash, crash LaRue. LaRue. <laughs> That's good, too. That's better than Crash Tastic. Yeah. Crash LaRue. I like it. It's very it, good. It, it rolls out off your tongue. Crash LaRue. I can't believe there's so many people out. The waters were pretty rough, so um, some people, including the Liberty Clipper, had to uh, stop sailing because they took a bunch of passengers that got sick, so they didn't finish the race, which was sad. And the Columbia won, which I guess was expected. So you'll see a little bit of that ship gorgeous. Right now Miss Lone Star is in the inner harbor of Cuddyhunk and I am on land weathering out the storm. Uh, <laughs> I've been in contact with the harbor master and he said that uh, the dinghy was actually flying um, off the back of the boat in the air so I'm really looking forward to maybe seeing some pictures of that. Uh, since I'm alone right now I didn't want to weather the storm by myself so uh, I came to visit my East Coast family here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I also had a great time on the Liberty Clipper. And um, thank you so much for having me and the bird and the dog. Uh, it was really cool to see the tall ship sail um, and see how you guys work together as a crew. It's very cool. So you guys will have to check them out. We are on the Liberty Clipper. <laughs> We're down below in the cabin with my dear friend Kara. Yes, my friends. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take you all up top and we're gonna go check it out. Can we tour these luxurious rooms? Yeah, you wanna <laughs> tour this luxurious room or you can stay? There's no mushrooms have problem. Are you gonna sink this Lone Star with me? Yeah. No, oh, say that. Well, you know rule number rule number three is being safe. Yeah. Rule number one and two is looking good, <laughs> feeling good. Basically, in the morning when you have morning wood, you basically pretty much have to stand on your head to take a, to take a piss. You know, it's the easiest way.
really not that bad. Feels like it. Five feet. Story, so All right, so I have a friend, his name's Chris, and he has two buddies who uh, make poor life choices, and they were drunk and somewhere <laughs> in Florida on the school, at the school bar. That is the number one best person in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Did I mention Onyx is here? Yep, big O. The big O. So hey you guys, we got a lot of comments about Crash and his missing feathers. I wrote a blog post, I don't know if you guys saw it. I'm having a little bit of uh, an issue with the website being a little cantankerous, like the bird. So um, I did take him to the vet and you can see some of that up next. Uh, he's perfectly healthy other than his feather picking. And he does that, it's kind of like biting your fingernails. The vet said, um, if you ask somebody why they bite their nails, they probably couldn't give you an answer. Um, and if you ask them to stop, some could and some couldn't. So, Bald is beautiful and I love him. Um, we're working on him playing with toys. He loves the dog. Um, I think he's got a great life. You know, it's a little unconventional, but he likes it. We're at the vet. We're at the vet, huh? Come on, Mother Plucker. You stop your plucking. Burr, 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 burr. Huh. You gonna stop plucking? We'll keep coming back here. Ha -ha. No more plucking. We're at the vet. We're gonna get this mother plucker checked out. What's your deal? Mm -hmm. What's your deal, you bald eagle? You should be this boy. Oh, you wanna come here? There he is. You know, there's probably nothing wrong with him. But we just wanted to make sure, huh? Stop that! Oh, we just want to make sure. Just want to make sure, huh? Oh, no, you don't. Stop pulling your feathers out. Hey, stop pulling your feathers out. Yeah, stop pulling them. Um, had blood work done recently? Yes. How long ago? Uh, about five weeks. Okay. And that all came back normal. Okay. Good. He had his beak trimmed. He's had a little bit of a scissor beak. So I want to send a big thank you out to my Gloucester family, which is Tina and Terry Greel. Thank you so much for having me, and thanks for introducing me to Mark, who's going to be helping me sail. And Kara, thank you so much for your support. You're always a blast and so uplifting, and um, I will treasure the friends that I've met um, with you. So thank you so much for that, um, and for the good sailing advice from Dan and um, for the moral support from the rest of you out there. So thank you so much for watching. Um, and next time I see you, I will be on my little boat headed south because winter is not coming, my friends. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, and as always, don't forget to subscribe, Mother Trucker.